Michael Saylor is not a real Bitcoiner and the ECB, the European Central Bank, doesn't know shit about Bitcoin. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, run BTC. Guys, yes, Bitcoin went running again and it's dipping now one or two K and you are freaking out. Stop that, stop that, stop that. In today's video, talking about the news, Michael Saylor and the European Central Bank. Also looking at the amazing Bitcoin charts that I have for you today because they're lining exactly up as we thought that they would be lining up. And of course, an inspirational quote at the end. Let's quickly jump into those two news items first. Bam. Yes, I said it. Michael Saylor is not a real Bitcoiner. I said it at the beginning. I'm very thankful for the promotion, the free promotion he gave to Bitcoin all over the world for companies to invest in Bitcoin. But he now came out with a video and it was shared on Twitter, I even shared it on my Twitter, where he's saying, ah, Bitcoin anarchists, those OGs, they don't really understand Bitcoin. It's good that the banks hodl more Bitcoin. It's good that BlackRock hodls more Bitcoin. It's good that all these institutions hodl more Bitcoin. It's good that all these big government centralizing entities hodl more Bitcoin. That's way more safer for the normal people. Fuck that. That is exactly the opposite mindset of a true Bitcoiner. A true Bitcoiner wants decentralization. He doesn't want a few huge governments or central banks to own all the Bitcoins or investment companies like BlackRock to, BlackRock to own all those Bitcoins. I'm saying own, but even if they become custodial service for their clients, for me, they own those bitcoins same like if you have a bank account and you put your money on the bank account it's not your money you are a creditor to the bank you gave them your money for them to use to do all kinds of shitty stuff that will create inflation and make your money purchasing power lower and lower and lower bitcoin is the opposite bitcoin doesn't want inflation bitcoin wants to create deflationary asset that makes you richer, not poorer. Michael Saylor, you should know better. Bitcoin saved your company. Without Bitcoin, your company would maybe even already have been bankrupt. It's Bitcoin that saved your company. It's Bitcoin that also can save all the other poor people in this world if they're allowed to self-custody their Bitcoins, not put them in these investment funds where they can freeze them take them, lock them up, whatever they want to do with those Bitcoins. Not your keys, not your Bitcoin, Michael Saylor. Not your keys, not your Bitcoin. So please don't come with that bullshit business mentality. It's good for governments to own Bitcoin. It's good for central banks to own more Bitcoin. Fuck that mentality. You're not a true Bitcoiner if you think like that. Sorry for that. Thank you for all the free promotion for Bitcoin, but this is not going the right way, guys. And Michael, to give you another news item for today, it is the European Central Bank, that's the second news item for today, that came out and it said, Bitcoin is very dangerous for our democracy. Bitcoin is very dangerous for society. And you know why they stated this? Because the people that got first into Bitcoin might now become filthy rich and then there will be a huge gap between rich and poor and the European Central Bank doesn't want that. As if they don't want that. That's exactly what they create. That's their function. Keep those people poor because of inflation that the European Central Bank is creating. They don't want the people to be rich because then they don't obey the European Union anymore. So Michael Saylor, please look back that video and let me know again did you were, were you drunk or were you stoned or was it just like a mispronunciation or were you just uh, forgetting a little bit to play the real Bitcoin OG act? Just let me know because the uh, European Central Bank is saying exactly the opposite of you. They don't like Bitcoin. They don't want Bitcoin to make other people rich. They only want to be them rich themselves. And the second thing, third thing for the European Central Bank, you know what it is. They clearly stated, if you read through the lines, that they missed the boat. They missed the boat. What a beautiful coincidence. Michael Saylor, the sailor is not a real Bitcoin OG, and yes, the European Central Bank missed the boat. Yes, beautiful. It's not like wordplay. I love that wordplay because yes, the European Central Bank did miss the boat because they didn't want to understand Bitcoin. Many other huge institutions, governments and banks did want to understand and embrace Bitcoin, did want to give 
access to their clients to Bitcoin, like a Revolut. One of the banks already giving access to their clients since 2017. And you can even withdraw your Bitcoins from that bank to your self-custody wallet. That's how the banks should solve it. And then maybe I would be happy that the banks hold a little bit of Bitcoin as well. But if you're a true Bitcoiner, you are there for decentralization, taking the power away from those centralized entities that destroy our lives because of all the stupid, filthy, dishonest games they play with our money. And it's making you poor and keeping them rich. So if the European Central Bank writes in an article, oh, Bitcoin is making the difference in the social classes too big and uh, that cannot be happening, that is what you did. Only the smart people didn't listen to you anymore, Christine Lagarde and the European Central Bank. They were smart enough to listen to my videos, invest in Bitcoin on time and don't have anything to do with inflation. They saved their own asses by becoming their own bank. That is what Bitcoin stands for. Be your own bank, Michael Saylor. You're standing for be not your own bank. Trust those banks that already destroyed the whole society since the last couple of decades. That is not the Bitcoin mentality. Sorry for that. But again, I'm very thankful for all the free promotions you've given to Bitcoin in all the news channels, in all the television channels, in all the newspapers. Thank you for that. Let's jump into the next part, the charts, to see what is happening to Bitcoin today from a real Bitcoin OG. This one here. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, the four hour chart, amazing chart. Uh, again, guys, yes, look how I told you um, this blue area resistance. We could even fall to this yellow line again, 65,840, which would be the ultimate level of support. Of course, there's some support here as well. Why is the support there? I will draw the line so you can see. Look from here. Yep, that's exactly where we, oh, sorry, from here. That's exactly where we topped out over there. And there again, we are finding support. So this could be the level. If not, we could fall a little bit deeper. All good. It's all nice. The next target should be 72,205. That is where I expect another resistance. If you break that, then it's off to the races all the way to 80K. Um, beautiful RSI bottoming out. Look here, it's going down, which is amazing. Sometimes we need to take a breath with the market, which means we went on a pump. We need to take it easy and we continue on another pump. That's how it works. Now, way more important chart for you guys is to zoom out is this monthly chart this one is going to be soon available for all the VIPs all the time so I will keep updating it but this chart is showing you when the next stop will be in 2025 when the next bottom will be in 2000 for example 26 but also again the next stop in 2029 and next bottom in 2030 and the next stop in 2033 and then again the next bottom in 2034. I made this chart to make it very clear how we as a family have been playing these four-year cycles and how you could be playing them as well. I'm going to make this chart available for all the VIPs. So go to ddbambam.me to sign up now and become a VIP um, so that you can have all access to this chart, guys. And yes, I know my face was a little bit in the view, but it doesn't matter because um, you can see more if you go and join us there at ddbambam.me, guys. Now, more interesting charts are over here, guys. This is the first one. Uh, this is showing us the amazing liquidation levels heat map and the amazing liquidation here levels heat map is important because those targets are mostly the ones that we want to reach to liquidate the market. So we can see at the moment the level is here at 69, 3000, all the way even here to just before 70K, a lot of people will be liquidated. Also here at the bottom, a lot of people will be liquidated if we go to 66K. So these levels, you need to always keep in mind. If we go bearish, we will fall to these levels to liquidate those people over there. And after again, pump up to liquidate those people over there. That's how the market moves. It moves always in between these liquidation levels. This chart is from the 20th of October. We are now on the 22nd. So I just want to show you an example how we look at these charts and you can find them, for example, here, uh, what is this, High Block Capital, I think they posted it, so go check their website as well. I'm now not being paid, I don't even know who they are, um, but you can check them for to get these charts. Glassnode has them as well, BTC charts has them as well. Many of these um, chart companies have the charts and can give you access to the liquidation areas, etc., etc. Now, then we have this one. A new all-time high, guys, in the hash rate, which means uh, we have never seen such a hash rate high before. That's just what it is. It's more than 
100 million tera hashes, as you can see on the left side, uh, and the price is not even at 100k. So that's a new autumn high, uh, which means the miners are doing pretty well. There's a lot of hashing happening and they're also making a lot of profits because yes, the Bitcoin price is at a nice level. This will go higher and higher in the future as there will be more miners interested in, of course, creating more hash rate to have a bigger chance to mine those Bitcoins, guys. A good chart. Now, then we have one more chart. This is one is for uh, the weekly people that just look at the weekly chart. Just look at that red trend line a little bit here from the bottom all the way to the top. So the top that would be somewhere from September 2025 till 2026. I believe the top will be in this area. Um, and I think the top will be, again, like I said, around 160 maximum. And we can see here 120 to 160 is also the trend line. So yes, we are going downwards toward a trend line. We found support, we went up, we're gonna go up again, we're gonna come down again, we're gonna go higher again, we're gonna come down again. In the end, we will meet us somewhere there at 150 to 160,000, in my opinion, the top of this bull market. Great chart, and hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that was also the last chart for today. And guys, by the way, if you want to trade all of the charts that we just talked about, use Bybit, Blowfin or Apex Omni, guys. Bybit, the best KYC out there, it's the second biggest of the world and it has really, really good volume, but also really, really, really good deposit bonuses up to 30,000 US dollar if you join now. You can even join my World Series of Trading team and we can win up to $10 million in prizes collectively, guys. And also, if you want to trade non-KYC, no passport, no all the proof of address, all that shit, go to Blowfin. You get shitloads of bonuses, shitloads of prizes just by using my link down below. I'm creating all this beautiful content. You need to appreciate that by clicking those links. If you want to trade completely decentralized, meaning connecting your hardware wallet to a DEX, for example, or your telephone to a DEX, then trade, but always have self-custody of your tokens, use Apex Omni Pro. Amazing exchanges, my top three, if you ask me, DD, run BTC. Let's go and click those links. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, short term, beautiful volatility, a lot of trading opportunities, long term, zoom out, look at that four year cycle. We will go up in 2025. We will create a new ultimate all time high above 100K, I believe between 120 and 160. And after that, guys, in 2026, we will have a bear market. We will have a bear market, a 12 month long bear market going lower, 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 lower. And it won't stop before those 12 months. It will, it will be one year of just downfall prices. And yes, every time you think, ah, we are there, no, no. You know, when we were there, after 12 months, we will be bottoming out. I will tell you again in the video, this is the bear market bottom. Now you should be buying. Others will be telling you, no, we will fall deeper. We will fall deeper. I will be again telling you, no, 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 no. This is the bear market bottom. This is where you should be buying. And that is the moment you should be buying again. And then again, run that next bull market all the way into 2029. That is how you zoom out. Don't listen to all those people that want you to buy your Bitcoins at a bank, a custodial service that has full control on your Bitcoins. Even now, if you want to try buy Bitcoins at a bank, they're like, hey, where does the money come from? Uh, how did you earn it? Uh, did you sell your house? Blah, 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 blah. Fuck off, it's my money. Not yours, my money, I decide what to do with it. Don't pamper us if, like we are babies. You're a government. We chose you to lead the country in the way that we want to, because we voted for you, because you promised us stuff. Now just don't focus too much on our money, as we are pretty damn adult enough to do that. Go focus on leading the country, not into wars, but go create peace, prosperity and a beautiful country for us, the ones that are paying you without tax money. Now, that with the charts and again a little bit of the news, let's quickly jump now in the inspirational quote. Yes, a short but powerful video, might I say myself. Bam. The inspirational part, guys, today. In the last eight years of traveling, we traveled more than 42 countries in the last eight years. Yes, the last two years, we took it a little bit more slower after the whole pandemic, pandemic, whatever you call it. Uh, we stayed a couple of months there and a couple of months there. Mexico, Portugal, Spain, Thailand, our favorite countries at the moment. Um, but still, we traveled a lot. I spoke to a lot of people. You know what I discovered? The happiest people I met don't have the best of everything. They make the best of everything. That's the difference. All the people 
billionaires, millionaires, poor people, children, families, the happiest families and people I met were those who could make the best out of everything. Whatever situation it was, they made the best of it. They didn't own the best of everything. They didn't have the best of everything. They made the best out of every situation they came into. Those were the most happy people. And I need to agree with that. We are not a matchless family. We don't accumulate materialistic stuff. Houses, cars, blah, all that stuff. We accumulate happiness. And we accumulate happiness by being a minimalist family, appreciating all the little things in life. If it is a good lunch, if it is a good sport, if it is Muay Thai, if it is meeting people on the beach, if it's drinking a healthy coconut on the beach, whatever it is, how small it is, we appreciate that and we become happy because of that. Not because of another Lamborghini or another Rolex watch or another dress of whatever brand of some kind of idiot shoes with red soles, whatever it is. That doesn't make us happy. We were there already like 10 years ago when we were young. That was like our goal in life, money, money, money. Now our life is accumulating happiness. And that's exactly what the Bitcoin family brand is about. Not accumulating materialistic stuff, accumulating a shitload of Bitcoin and spend your most precious asset time into living life. Not accumulating more shit to take care of, in living life, creating experiences, creating adventures, spending family time, sporting together, swimming together, sunbathing together, climbing a mountain together, going skiing together, all kinds of stuff that is really cool will be in your memories forever because you just took the time to do them. Not walking in the store, just buy something short-term happiness, a new iPhone or a new this or a new that. That will take you two weeks. And after those two weeks, that iPhone doesn't make you happy anymore, anymore because there's a new iPhone, the iPhone 17. Same with the car. Ah, beautiful. You drive it 10 times, there's a new car that will make you again happy for short periods of time. Experiences you can always look back into. And they will every time again make you happy when you think back of them. That's an experience. And that's the same with traveling. Whatever you do with traveling, whatever you spend money to, it's all experiences that you can look back into and say to yourself, I did it with my family. It was an amazing time. It gave me goosebumps. It was beautiful. That's completely different than buying a car that is just there on your driveway to show off to other people that really don't give a fuck of what you have. So for us as a family, the most happy people that we met were those that didn't have any, everything, but those that made the best out of everything. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video again. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What did you think about the news, the charts, and everything else? Yes, maybe the news, I was a little bit more emotional because I really don't like these big players saying that kind of stupid stuff because they have a huge following, and now those people all might think the same. We should hold our Bitcoins on the banks. Be your own bank. Unbanked is the way, the gateway to freedom. That was everything for today. Bam.